Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. I'm going to start off by giving you an overview of this article here, this case here. Um, I may read through quite a lot of the details. Um, we'll see how we go. There's a link in the description and I need to give you a trigger warning. This is horrendous as you can see from the headline. Uh, it's about this scumbag here. I believe you would pronounce the scumbag's names Keisha Lee. 30 year old Minnesota mother and um, she has beaten her two-year-old daughter to death last year the young girl's name was Melody Vang she beat her to death she would not stop punching her apparently according to this C words I nearly said the word this C words uh, boyfriend that's what she did. She handed out punishment by uh, hitting her children, or certainly her child. Yeah, she's got five, five other children ranging in age from eight months old to 11 years old. Uh, they've all been placed in protective custody. Uh, they were all previously in foster care and they had only recently been returned to the scumbag mother. Keisha Lee. The mother's boyfriend claimed that the two-year-old girl that was beaten to death, Melody Vang, she came out of foster care, and um, apparently it was foster care foster care's fault for spoiling the young two-year-old, and the young two-year-old would act up, according to the scumbag mother's boyfriend. And because the two-year-old acted up, that's the justification for beating her to the point that she dies. I mean, these people are fucking evil. By the way, guys, I really, 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 really do genuinely appreciate your support. I genuinely appreciate you guys watching the videos and commenting. I really, really do um, appreciate that so much. And uh, I would like to have conversations or have some space with you guys um, outside of this darkness, if that makes sense. You know, I know I keep saying that kind of thing, but I do have to tell you that if you do feel too down about these subjects, stop watching them, please. You don't have to watch every video. Um, stop watching them. Take a break. Take a mental health break. Uh, do something fun. We've got to have some lightness in our life. We have to. Um, so don't watch too many of these videos. If you start feeling bothered by them, take some time off um, and come back to the channel when when you're ready. But um, like I say, I do want to, I want to keep you guys. I want to keep you guys. So I do want to figure out how to have some part of this channel where we can discuss things in a more light-hearted manner have some fun have some conversation um but not overly overly dark uh because you guys are great people you're better than good people you're great people and i think we have a really nice thing going on here in that we are uh covering these really dark subjects and we're doing so very respectfully i believe and we're all being very genuine in how it's impacting us how disgusted we are um and it's nice to have that like community uh review these topics together uh, that's how i view things but we kind of need to have some fun together too so i really need to figure out how to do that how to offer you guys a space to have some fun with me. Um, anyway, back to this hideous case here. Um, sentencing is fucked up. I'm sorry, Minnesota, but you fucked up. Um, she's been sentenced to 18 years in jail. State prison. 18 years for beating her two-year-old daughter to death. It's not enough, is it? Why only 18 years? Well, because she accepted a plea deal. Um, so it's a bit of a quandary. There are reasons for offering plea deals. 
multiple reasons. It guarantees a conviction. Um, it avoids a lengthy trial. There are benefits there. But at the same time, the cost of offering a plea deal is that justice, frankly, isn't served fully and correctly. This evil C-word ought to have been convicted of first-degree murder, in my opinion, but she hasn't been. She pled guilty, uh, she accepted a plea deal, um, to one count of second-degree unintentional murder. That's not strong enough. She was punching the girl to the point that she died. How was that unintentional murder? What, you just thought punching a, a two-year-old endlessly wouldn't harm her? Is that what you thought, you fucking moron? Again, I'm going to mention low IQ. Is low IQ a factor here? I think it's low IQ plus evil equals these scumbags. So as part of the plea agreement, prosecutors agreed to drop one count of first-degree murder. Despite the fact that she's got a pattern of child abuse. That's not good enough, Minnesota. Have some fucking balls. I'm not a, I'm not legal in any way, but we'll read through some of the details in a moment. But it seems to me there was ample evidence to have this fucking C word. I've not been saying the C word for a while, but this one angers me in particular. Uh, there's ample evidence to get this fucking C word convicted. Prosecutors of Minnesota. Have some fucking balls. Have, have a spine. Don't hand out plea deals willy nilly. She didn't deserve a plea deal. She doesn't deserve to be out in 18 years. And God forbid you if, if, these, if this C word gets parole. Going to go through some of the details in regards to the discovery of the two-year-old girl, Melody Vang. Officers with the St. Paul Police Department at approximately 2.30 a.m. January the 10th, 2021 responded to a 911 call. The caller told the dispatcher that there had been an incident at the home and they had requested a crisis officer. Upon arriving at the scene, police initially encountered the girl's father. So I've been mentioning the girl, the mother's boyfriend. It, it is actually the girl's father. Uh, identified in court documents as JV. So the father is called JV for whatever reason. Um, he, the father immediately asked officers to keep it down, to be quiet, to not make too much noise. As his two-year-old daughter was not alive. What? I mean, again, I've got to go to low IQ. I mean, what the fuck is going on? This happened at 2.30 a.m. Okay, I kind of understand you don't want your children woken up on a typical day, 2.30 a.m. But hang on, father, father, your two-year-old child has been beaten to death. Yeah? If the police happen to wake up the other children, then so be it. The important aspect of this situation, father, is that your two-year-old daughter has been beaten to death by your, by the mother, by your partner. Do you get my point here? Like, what is wrong with these people's brains? I've got to think that low IQ is a factor. What is wrong with these people's brains? When they're more concerned about disturbing the other children than the death of their own fucking child. I mean, it's just, I, you know, the mental gym, gymnastics that you would have to go to to be able to comprehend how these fucking scumbags think. When asked where his daughter was, the father said he didn't want his other children to see the two-year-old girl that had been beaten to death by his partner. So he and his wife wrapped the girl's body in a blanket and they took the two-year-old girl's body to the back porch so that it wouldn't smell. Uh, 
It's just fucking insanity, man. And this is why I say, and forgive me, um, regular viewers, sometimes you just have to step away. If this is bothering you too much, and it bothers me, but sometimes you just have to, like, not watch um, these videos, these dark topics. Officers went to the back where they found... Uh, the scumbag mother and Melody Vang, the two-year-old's wrapped body. They asked the scumbag mother what happened and the scumbag m mother told police that she lost her temper because the two-year-old kept crying and waking up her other children. So again, she has five other children aged between, I think it said, eight months to 11 years old. Uh, they were each in the home. All of them were in the home. They'd recently all been released from foster care. They'd been returned to the mother's custody only recently. And now, thankfully, they've all been removed from the home. Medics and additional officers were asked to respond to the scene after an officer had found the girl's body. The girl was obviously dead. She wore only a diaper and her body had been wrapped in bedding and a rug. She was cold to the touch and rigor mortis had set in. She had multiple large bruises to her face and body. She had cuts and scratches on a significant portion of her body. The toddler was pronounced dead at approximately 2.40 a.m. So this scumbag, her and her husband, well, th this scumbag beat her two-year-old to death. Uh, and then, with her husband's help, the father's help, this is how they treat the two-year-old's dead body. They wrap it up, just wearing a diaper. Melody Vang just was wearing a diaper. They cover her in a blanket and a rug, and then stick her on the porch. How fucking grotesquely disrespectful. What is wrong with these people? Do they not have any sense of humanity? Oh, that's what I'm thinking too. Low IQ, evil, lack of sense of humanity. How could you treat anybody living or deceased in such a disrespectful way? Disrespectful isn't a strong enough word, but disdainful. You have no fucking respect for humanity. You don't even respect your own fucking two-year-old child, alive or dead. You have no fucking respect. She gets a plea deal. She's only going to be in prison for a maximum of 18 years. That's not good enough. Upon questioning, this fucking evil C-word told investigators, I just kept hitting her. The scumbag said she had punched the girl with her hands too many times. Yeah, you're right. Too many times. You fucking killed her. She had punched her with her hands too many times because the girl wouldn't stop crying. The scumbag also told investigators that she put her hand over the girl's mouth to stop her from crying. But it didn't work. So... She carried on punching, hitting, beating the two-year-old with her own hands. Fucking evil. Sick. And she only gets 18 years. She deserves the death penalty. She's, she literally beat her two-year-old child to death by punching her to death. How does she not get the death penalty? How does she not get life in prison? Minnesota, you're a bunch of motherfucking assholes. You have let yourself down in this situation. All of the authorities that are responsible for giving this woman, this scumbag, this evil piece of shit, a plea deal that allows her to avoid being, avoid being convicted of first degree murder of her own two year old daughter. And to only be sentenced 18 years. Again, if there is parole 
fucking hell. If I was a member of that society, if I lived there, I would... I, this is something that I would object to. I'd, I'd do more than make a YouTube video about it. The girl still didn't stop crying. So the scumbag picked her up and hit her some more and took her to a timeout closet. The father, her husband, said that uh, this scumbag would typically discipline the children by hitting them with an open hand or locking them in a closet. Recently, the, the husband, the father, said that he's seen this scumbag fucking evil piece of shit beat the two-year-old with a stick that was two feet long and half an inch thick. I've got to go back to low IQ. Like, I mean, sure, evil, absolutely evil, evil, lock it in. Uh, lock in evil, lock... I've got to lock in low IQ, and I've got to lock in um, a lack of a sense of humanity. Low IQ. She was beating a two-year-old, her own two-year-old daughter, with two a two-foot-long... And a half an inch thick stick. Fuck me dead. Like seriously. Like. How could she not again. How can she avoid. Being convicted of first degree murder. If she was. Beating the child. With a two foot long. And a and half an inch thick. Stick. You've got the witness testimony. From the husband. How can you not be confident of convicting this evil scumbag of first degree murder, Minnesota? The scumbag admitted to causing all of the severe bruising on the two year old's body, some of which were inflicted before the fatal beating. Um, and she blames her anger. When investigators asked about uh, the, the girl, um, what about the girl triggered this scumbag's anger, this scumbag said, the, her daughter was a little bitch several times. I can, again, like, just no respect. Um, an autopsy concluded that Melody Bang's manner of death was a homicide and that the cause of death was closed head trauma due to assault. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a typo. I'm not quite sure what that means. Closed head trauma. Closed head trauma. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe it means that there was no... I don't know. Cuts. The scumbag received 516 days already uh, served as credit. So that lessens her sentence by, what, a year and a half. And she's required to also pay $7,500 in restitution. Which is an insulting figure. I mean, why bother with such a fucking pathetic number? It's disgusting. Um, I'm going to wrap things up here at this point, guys. Uh... If you do appreciate covering this topic, if I've done a half-decent job, I do try to be respectful towards the victim, obviously not towards the perpetrators. Uh, if I've done a half-decent job, if you like the other videos on my channel, please do like, comment, subscribe, stick around. Um, any feedback is more than welcome. Again, I don't wish to harp on about this, and I'm not being mean, but if and when you get upset by these topics step away don't watch any more uh do something fun bring some light into your life watch some kitten videos and i say that in all seriousness i love watching kitten videos um but yeah do something fun and i would like to introduce some fun to this channel i don't know how to do that though um any thoughts please let me know and um what can i say i mean I, i've already said my piece I, i'm disgusted with the sentencing 
look, I, I'm clearly, I'm, I'm angered, we are angered about the murder of a two-year-old. I mean, it's just fucking insane. We're angered by that. Um, beaten in the way that she was on more than one occasion. It's just absolutely fucking insane. Um, but But more than that, I think what's really gotten me is the sentencing. Um, because it's a failure. It's it's not a... It, the mother failed the child. The father fa failed the child. And the other children too. Which thankfully have been removed from the custody of the parents. Um, but the mother severely failed the child. The mother murdered the child. The father severely failed the child. The father stood by, he enabled, he did fuck all. And why the fuck he's not uh, charged, I don't know. That's another problem, Minnesota. What the fuck's going on with the father? Is he not being charged? Is it fine for him just to stand stand by whilst his wife uh, beats her two-year-old, their two-year-old daughter with a stick two foot long and half an inch thick? It's fine for the father to stand by and allow that to happen, is it? What the fuck is wrong with you, Minnesota? So, the child was severely failed by the mother and the father. And now, in my mind, the child, the two-year-old, Melody Vang, has been severely failed by Minnesota, by the judicial system in Minnesota, by the district court judge, Leonardo Castro. Fuck you, you're an asshole. I can't say what I would do to you if I were to be introduced to you. It wouldn't be that pleasant. I'm not happy with you, Leonardo Castro. 18 years in state prison is not enough. Not in this case. Not when there's so much evidence against her. Why the fuck couldn't your prosecution just go ahead with first degree murder? Why the fuck not? To me, the judicial system in Minnesota has failed Melody Vang and has failed uh, the community, the members of the state. It's basically a message saying, if you go around beating and killing your children, we'll give you a nice little plea deal, which will give you a pretty light sentence. You know, you'll be in jail for a while, but you'll be out. This scumbag, evil piece of shit's currently 30 years of age. She's going to be out in 18 years, minus 516 days. She's going to be out in 16 and a half years. She's, she might be out before her 47th birthday. That, that This is someone that you want to be on the streets in 17 years time, 16 and a half years time, is it, Minnesota? Uh, so that's, I think that's why I'm bothered by this one in particular. It, it's it's more than just the uh, murder. The senseless, brutal, disgusting, filthy murder of a two-year-old innocent child at the hands of the mother. It's more than that. It's just the the after the fact treatment in regards to this it's too lenient and i'm fucking sick of it gonna wrap things up here guys um again like comment subscribe stick around make some comments and uh take care